Okay, in this tutorial we will look at list view so that uh, we can choose one or multiple values. Let's create a new project. Okay, let's add um, JavaFX 15 library. In my case, it will be a uh, program file is Java, Java FX SDK 15. So this is the class. I will keep it as it is. Open in Sim Builder. Here, controller class is a package name called sample dot controller controller. So let's remove. I prefer to use anchor pane. Here, sample dot controller. We need at least one button. List view. And. Uh, Text area. Every items. So it's going to have, let's say, 10 items to choose from. OK. BTN OK. Handle BTN OK. TA text area summary. Save. Create field. So we create the three data fields. One uh, method called handle btn OK. So controller is under package and dot controller. By convention, we like to have a private data field. So let me change the private. Then you need to add um, FXML annotations. You can do this way uh, one by one. So there are three FXML annotations. Implement initializer method. So it means we need to implement initializable interface. So that we can deal with um, JavaFX controls uh, default value. There are two different ways of uh, adding items to list view. Under here, initialize uh, methods, we can add items individually or manually, or we can define at the beginning with an uh, observable array list. Add, let's say item number 4, let me repeat twice, 5 and 6, there is another method called um, get items. Then uh, add all. It means you can add multiple items. So let's say seven comma, 
8, 9, 10. Build project. Okay, this um, can now start compiler. Okay, and this one we just select Java 15.0.1. Apply, okay. Okay, build successfully. Modify options, add VM options, module pass. The pass is where you save your JavaFX SDK and library. This is where I have. And then add models. I'm using FXML, so we will say JavaFX controls, comma, with a space, JavaFX, FXML. Apply, OK. So this time you should be able to see item number 4 to 10. By default, list view, you can select only one item at a time. So here, let's go up. Typically, we declare array of um, strings. Then we can add to uh, observer list. So let me just explain. Normally it doesn't change, so I will say final string, string items. I will just use the generic names, item number one, two, and three. Again, private final observable list. This is a string type, string list, we are using FX collections, observable array list, string items, that's it. That's how you declare observable list, then here. We can set the values. So list view items, set items, drink list. So we have item number one, two, three. We are adding individually four, five, six. And then by add all, we have a 7, 8, 9, 10. So once you learn it, we have item number 1 to 10. So that's how you declare um, observable list for list view. Let's look at how we can process it. Append text, LB items get selection model, and then we have a get selected item. 
let's say the new line for text area. There's another one called um, selected index. So the first one will return a uh, name of item. For example, item number one and the index uh, value for, for zero. Because the first index starts with zero. So there should be zero. Item number six, index value five. So by default, uh, list view, we can select only one item. If that's the case, uh, we don't have to use list view, we can use combo box. But usually we like to uh, select multiple items with uh, list view. That might be the reason we like to use list view rather than combo box or choice box. So let's change the default behavior so that we can select multiple items. Get selection model. Here, set selection mode. Selection mode, as you can see, we have a multiple and single. Default is single, so we change to multiple. Run it. So now you should be able to select multiple. You can press Control key. One, three, five. Okay. It shows only last one, uh, item five and then four. Okay. But idea is we can select multiple items. But it just does not process the all items. Only process the last ones. So we go back here. Uh, we can process multiple items using get selected items methods. And then instead of index, we can change the indices. This time, uh, we should be able to process all selected items. Okay, 1 to 4, 5, and then 0, 1 to 4. So item, 3 items, and 3 indexes. In practice, um, you may like to process individually. I will use inlines for loop. I will use object class. Here, um, select the items. Uh, for simplicity, I will print it on console. System I'll print. Instead of printing object, I will change to two string value. Of course, we can process for um, index. So we change the indices. And this time, it's going to return index value. So if you select 1, 2, 3, the first for loop will say item number 1, 2, 3. Second for loop uh, will give us index value uh, 0, 1, 2. Let's have a look. Okay, look at the console, item number 1 and 2 and 3, index 0 and 1 and 2. So you can actually um, process individual items using in a for loop. Here, item number 5 and 7, and the index value is 4 and 6. So that's the idea of using uh, list view. So let me just add one more comment by default. Selection mode is uh, single. That's all. Thank you.